So it is back to the drawing board for the Electoral Commission, that's IEBC, as the multi-billion shilling ballot papers procurement tender is cancelled. So the Public Procurement Administrative Review Board nullified the tender following a protest by several firms, including Argurair Printing, dealing a major setback to the country's 2022 election roadmap in court. The country's electoral roadmap has been thrown into a spin following the nullification of the contract to supply ballot papers, register of voters and election results declaration forms. IEBC had awarded the multi-billion shillings three-year contract to a Greek firm, Inform Lycos SA. But the Public Procurement Administrative Review Board nullified the contract following appeals by Africa Infrastructure Development Company, Uniprint, Toll Security Print Limited and Algrea Printing and Publishing. PPRB ruled that the tender for the supply of ballot papers and other electoral materials issued to Inform Lycos was nullified and set aside. With the cancellation of the contract, IEBC was directed to start the procurement of ballot papers afresh from the financial evaluation stage. That all bids that made it to the financial evaluation, including Algrea Printing and Publishing, should be evaluated afresh. It is a blow to the Commission as it finds itself entangled yet again in merchant wars that nearly derailed its election calendar for 2017. Ironically, Algrea Printing and Publishing was the last supplier of ballot papers, register of voters and election results declaration forms for the 2017 general election in a highly contested procurement. The four firms in contesting the award of the contract to the Greek company claimed IEBC had bungled the procurement process by introducing a vague provision requiring the bidding firms to have 40% local shareholding. But Africa Infrastructure Development's petition was dismissed after the board established that it was not a tender arm. The board faulted IEBC for wrongfully disqualifying Dubai-based Algorea and toll security. PPRB established that, quote, We accordingly find and hold that the applicant was disqualified from the financial criteria unfairly and or based on a criteria that was not set out in the IEBC standard document, end of quote. And as such, IEBC is to include the two in its fresh evaluation. The nullification comes barely three months after PPRB nullified another contract for the supply of Kim's kit. However, the decision was overturned by the High Court after IEBC challenged the decision. Samogina Citizen TV, Nairobi.